13 News Now at noon begins with new information about a deadly crash in Norfolk. You're looking at photos of the scene on Granby Street and those photos from 13 News Now viewer Zachary Litwiller. It happened just before 6 o'clock this morning and we know one person has died in the last half hour crews began clearing the scene. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton is live on Granby Street in Norfolk. Allie. Hey, Dan, yeah, the tow truck drivers right now are starting to tow away some of those cars. Take a look. That is just one of the cars. It's mangled. That's one of the cars that was parked on Granby Street and was hit. And you can also see several pieces of the car. Parts are on the ground. Those crews are picking them up right now down the street. That's the van that hit several parked cars that that eventually crashed. We heard multiple crashes. It sounded like a train wreck because that's how loud it was. And Marcus Demodis says he jumped into action, running down from his apartment to help. Yeah, I'm going to get blood on me, but I want to make sure the guy lives. According to a Norfolk spokesperson, around 545 this morning, the person driving this white cargo van hit four parked cars with no one in them on Granby Street before crashing here. The van has major damage to the passenger side. There was a gentleman in there and uh, another guy I was there trying to pull him out and I used to be an EMT years ago and I was like keep him still make sure his neck's not moving um, and at that point the guy was conscious and he was trying to pull himself out. Stamatis says by then bystanders rushed to the scene. That's when he says he saw another man in the middle of the street. He wasn't good. I made sure he had a pulse. He was breathing but he was not talking. So I, all I did was just hold his neck and make sure his airway was clear. Medics rushed both people to the hospital. Investigators say one of the men died from his injuries. I did not know he passed, so it was probably the gentleman I was helping that was in the street. Norfolk police continue to investigate how this accident happened, and they say they're questioning one of the men in the van. Now, I did ask investigator if speed and um, alcohol is a factor in this crash. They say that's all part of the investigation. Live in Norfolk, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.